Hey fellow YouTube, back again. Sorry it's been a little bit. I spent the week recovering after I had my port placement procedure. And today is my first deaccessing day. I have never deaccessed before, so please don't take everything I say as a medical professional opinion. Always consult your doctors and your nurses before doing anything. Um, but I wanted to share this part of my life with you because I told you guys that I wanted to take you on the Lyme journey with me. So let's get started. What I've done is obviously I'm wearing a mask, which is important because you don't want to breathe any germs on the area while you're deaccessing. It's a line that goes straight into your juggler and your heart. And what I've done is I've created a sterile environment here with all the supplies that I need in order to take the bandage off and pull the needle out. So let's get started. All right. First, I always like to hand sanitize, even though I wear gloves, it just makes me feel safer. I have, I'm immunocompromised from the Lyme uh, disease. I have something called common variable immune deficiency. And uh, because I've gotten that now, uh, the Lyme's disease pretty much destroyed my immune system. And so, um, unfortunately, I need infusions every month for the rest of my life now. Um, all right, hand sanitizer is dry, which is the other reason why this port was a great plan. Because no matter what, I've got a lifelong journey of infusions going on now. Because my Lyme's disease got undiagnosed for six years as fibromyalgia and it spread literally almost killing me all right so get excited everybody because it's the access time and like i said this is my first time doing it so i just wanted to share this as you know a part of my life journey i don't necessarily want you to use this as a lesson video because this is my first time and i would like to Make sure that I've got every detail right for you before I actually do a lesson video. Alright, so step one, did you see I gloved up? Always important. Masked up? Always important. Alright, next what we can do is start taking off the sticker itself. When you're peeling it off, I'm going to be looking in a mirror over here while I do this. When you're peeling this off, you just want to be careful that you don't tear your skin. And a good friend to have is a good old friendly alcohol wipe just to kind of bring it with you while you're doing it and just kind of loosen it up, get it off you very nice and softly. It works rather well. Um, there's also something else that comes from my pharmacy uh, called this, uh, Unisolf. Unisolf, sorry. <laughs> um, and this is also really great for taking off hard um, sticking bandages. Right now I'm going to try to use the alcohol wipes and save those for my nurse, but if we run into a situation, we can handle it. <laughs> Alright guys, so sorry if this is a little boring, but you got to take the whole band-aid off. While I do this, I can share a little bit of news about what it's like when you have Lyme's disease and the insurance companies, because I'm sure you guys have heard, there's no exact billing codes for everything that I have because the CDC is not caught up on the actual logistics and details in which define Lyme and how to handle it. And because of this huge discrepancy with such a big organization like the CDC, it causes a lot of issues when it time gets time for coverage. And unfortunately, I just got a phone call from my doctor in California telling me that the insurance is starting to now refuse to pay for my antibiotic medications. So they are literally refusing to give me the medication that is going to save my life because the insurance companies. This is not the first time the insurance companies has done this to us. We had to switch to a bigger, badder infusion company that could fight them. But even these guys are having trouble winning this battle. and. I'm just praying that my PCP doctor will help me out here and make sure that I get coverage within the state. All right, just one second, guys. I'm just taking it off the incision, and I feel like I need to be exceedingly cautious here. 
All right, remember it's your body. Take care of yourself. You're the number one person that'll love yourself first and foremost, so always look out. All right, so forgive me if I ignore you for a second here. I tend to be not so good at multitasking. One thing that I will say that I'm super happy about, guys, is the surgeon did a really nice job, my nurse said, that he really was gentle, he took his time, he didn't hack me up, <laughs> which is really, 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 really nice. Actually, oh yeah, that's coming off grand. See how you just wipe the alcohol on it? It'll just slowly slide off. You don't want to just rip it off your skin. And especially, you don't want to just rip it off the port. You see how I'm holding the port down? That's the big thing. Be smart about this. This is attached inside of your body and with, through a needle. That's why it's exciting for us to unwrap it. You're going to get to see what it looks like a week after surgery. I haven't even... Actually, that's a lie my nurse showed me on Thursday. So I'm holding the port down. And I'm going to see... Yeah, we definitely need more alcohol. In fact, to be quite frank, it's kind of hurting me. I'm going to use this stuff to um, get rid of it on the uh, on my incision area. Because it's too painful for me just to do that. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Unisolve. Do your job. Alright guys, ready? It's my first time actually using this stuff. Usually my nurse does all this. This is my first time taking a band-aid off, everything. Usually my nurse does all this, but with pick lines, you can de-access to shower. So what that means is you can pull the needle out and then it seals up afterwards. And once it's all sealed up after you pull the needle out, you can freely shower. And for me, that's awesome because guess what, folks? The last time I got to take a real shower was in September. That's right, you heard it here first. Since September, boys and girls. First I had to have people wash me, and then I started figuring out tricks, and starting to be able to do it better, help with my hair, all kinds of stuff. Good news is, is that I've got a supportive spouse who is utterly amazing, and helps me beyond belief. I, I could never have done this by myself, ever, ever. I can't live alone right now, so... He is my saving grace in the times in which I have a hard time finding some grace. <laughs> you know, which I'm sure we all have at different times in our life. Alright, thanks for your patience, guys. Like I said, be loving, be kind. Take your time. Still got a little bit attached to the port. I want to make sure that if I pull, I'm not pulling on anything important. Alright, see how it kind of pulls the skin? That's what you don't want. So, like, I just rub it along and, it, and slowly pull it off and the liquid and that together. And it, boop, 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 and it slowly slides off. Tried to be as PG as possible about this, considering the location. All right. All right, guys. Oh, yeah! You heard it here first. The sticker is off, baby. All right. So, we've got the sticker part off now. The disc is going to live, I guess I can't get this whole sticker part off, I don't want to pull anything. Yeah, my nurse did a really good job of securing that to the line, <laughs> which is what you're supposed to do, so I'm so thankful for her. Okay, get ready guys, because it's a deaccessing time, and you know, like, I'm just a freak about stuff, so I'm going to change my gloves and just make sure I've got clean equipment to work with, especially when I'm doing this part, because this is some serious business. Um, should never take this lightly. I started getting comfortable with my pick line. And you really got to be careful once you start getting comfortable with something like this, especially when it's been on you for so long. So please just really keep in mind, um, keep that in mind at all times. <laughs> I used to ride motorcycles before I got sick, and every time before I got on my bike, I told myself, this is a death trap. This thing could kill you. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Oh, I ripped the glove. <laughs> Damn it, glove 101. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let my hands get a little bit dry before I do it. They get it kind of sweaty in those gloves. My hands just sweat like nobody's business. Can you see? 
all this sweat here. I've been sweating like hotcakes. Ooh, but I started my doxycycline since I got this line put in. And guess what? <gasps> I've actually been feeling better. It's amazing, guys. I'm so happy about this one. So, yeah, I, um, I'm definitely noticing my appetite's improving, um, which is amazing, and my energy level. It's really cool. Like, I danced yesterday at home for like an hour, and I could normally never do that. <laughs> Just having fun, you know. But yeah, you know when you lose something as simple as movement. Oh God, dancing can be such a blessing. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we got glove action. Okay, last glove. Do, do, do. And here we go. Oh, I ripped it again, but don't worry, it ain't that bad. <sighs> I'm a little stronger than I thought. Which is actually another awesome thing. I've noticed the strength is coming back to my hands and stuff. Before, I couldn't even push the um, syringe in for the infusions. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, get ready. Oh, just in case I need some alcohol wipe. Oh, man, alcohol wipes are your saving grace in these moments. But see, I'm going to hold this down. I'm looking in a mirror over there, that's why. But I, I'm going to hold this down. Yeah, okay. Slowly lift up this tape, okay? These are Steri strips, is what they're called. And they were all sterile before placed on the line. Everything is sterile that goes in here, okay? Like, no messing around. Another thing, guys. I am lucky beyond lucky, but I went through four nurses before I found my nurse, or, I don't know, four or five, and let me tell you, your nurse is everything, don't compromise yourself, if you feel your care isn't being handled, you need to speak up, because it's likely other patients' care isn't being handled, and one thing if we haven't learned, especially with all this Black Lives Matter stuff going on, is that we need to start caring about each other, we can't just keep Ignoring the important issues, the fact that people aren't getting health care, the fact that children aren't eating food. I mean, this shouldn't be happening in 2020. Not that I agree with all of the protesting and stuff, but I live in Seattle, or by Seattle, and from what we have been seeing, the cops are being the violent ones. So, and then they want, they want the protesters to get violent so that they can go after them. If the protesters remain peaceful, the cops can't do anything. So, you kind of get it? At least that's my thinking on this one. But anyways, off topic. But, good thing to talk about. Alright guys, so I'm going to be so careful. I didn't pack this on, so it's hard for me to realize, like, what's under there? Oh, we're getting there. Okay, this yellow butterfly clip. That is the deaxising needle. Okay, I'm so proud of myself. I did it, you guys. Yay! Oh my god. First time success story. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. So, this is the easiest part of all from what I've gathered. It's literally just pulling out. Okay. Oh my god, I'm like so excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> okay, here we go. But I'll be excited to take the mask off because it makes me sweat a lot more. Okay, so you see my, my nurse says, as you lift the wings, the needle is going to come out. And she said that it is super important that you pull the needle straight out on a 90 degree angle. Don't worry, I asked though, it's not going to like bend, it's got a guide tube in there, so that's going to guide it out at the 90 degree angle. It's just that you want to be as much in line with the guide as possible. Okay, so pinch these butterflies, baby. Oh my god. And say goodbye and hello to your first shower. Ah, oh my god, I think I'm supposed to hold this down. <gasps> Told you guys, my first time and I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, okay, huh, okay, don't be scared, guys. It's okay. Ah, we're all human in the end. It still hurts too, that's why. Okay. Oh, please, God above. He's got a bug. What is this thing? Is this stuck to it? I don't know what to do. I don't know what's... Okay. 
Okay. Now I know what to do. My nurse explained it to me. I just realized it. You can't see it. I don't know if you can, but there's like these little plastic tabs right here. You're supposed to hold down on those tabs. Thank God I got this. I almost forgot. No wonder. But I'm so gentle that if it doesn't feel right, I don't do it. <laughs> um, okay. So now I know I'm comfortable. Okay. You're holding down on these two tabs. You're holding the port in place. This is under your skin, guys. Sutured to a muscle. Like, you don't want to just... Okay. Are you ready? I wish you could see it. Can you see? Sorry, guys. All right. We're pinching. And we are pulling... Oh, God. It's just harder than you think. Okay, I got this. I got this. All right. We are pinching and we are pulling. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's scary. Okay. I'm sorry if I keep disappearing. I'm checking in the mirror. Because I'm freaking out a little. You can do this, Fiona. Why is it not coming off? Hmm. Okay, don't worry guys, don't panic. This is why I told you it's my first shot, okay? Best thing when you get freaked out or something scaring you, try your best not to get all panicky because you're not going to think clearly to help yourself. Okay, so I'm going to think really clearly and I'm going to use my engineering brain and I'm going to look at all of the components and try to understand why it's not coming out. Hmm. I'm really confused, but maybe. I don't know, it feels like it's attached to something underneath. <gasps> oh no. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I should let you guys have a better view. I'm really sorry for this dead air time. This is a pretty serious situation, and it's hard for me to get it. Perfect shot for you guys when I'm having these kinds of problems. Okay, all right, guys. I think I'm analyzing the situation. It's like it wants to come out, but... I don't know if the whole thing is supposed to come out. Maybe that's what it is. I'm supposed to hold the port underneath. Maybe that's what it is. Oh god. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you guys. Um, this is something I need to call my nurse about. Um, I'll give her a ring. Oh crap, I'm open though. I don't know. Okay. This is not as easy as they said. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Is this supposed to pull out? Okay, that's attached to each other. Okay, so maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Oh my god. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Like, really. Okay, it's not the hardest, but still, it's really not fun. Okay, I don't know how to do this. I'm scared. Because it looks like... No, it looks like this is supposed to come out of there. So you gotta pull it straight out. Oh god, I'm getting it! I, I figured it out! Gotta be a little tough with these buggers. Okay, it's coming. Can you see it? Okay, you gotta pull more like this. Remember how I told you it's got a pathway? Okay, so if you're not pulling on the right angle, you won't get that thing out. So you gotta, like, get the feel. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, be proud of me. I did my first DXS! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's the needle. And that's the piece that goes inside of my port. And then... 
doo doo doo. That's where the needle hole goes. I mean, over time, they're going to poke a few holes in there, but it's better to just get poked every week with that. And on top of that, they give you some numbing cream so that uh, when you do get poked, um, it numbs the surface area before the nurse comes. She's going to call me when she's like half an hour out, and then I'm going to numb the surface area. But for now, this girl gets to go shower. Oh, oh, shower. Uh, trust me, if you haven't showered a good shower since September, man, you would be in heaven right now. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I so appreciate you taking the time to take a little time to see what it's like having Lyme in your life. Hopefully, I've enlightened you a little bit, and you'll tune in for my next update or next story. Uh, I'd like to soon do an introduction video, because I know I'm kind of behind on that, but I totally will. I'd love to share my whole story with you. All the best. Stay safe out there, and black lives do matter.